to drag his way in and can't. Now it's Harmon, or Herman, pardon me, for NC State. He's got speed to the net. He scores right through the legs. The far side, Cox has to take it off the wall. His slap pass is fanned on, but he gets back to the loose puck. High slot will take the shot, and a sprawling Rudolph got a stick to it. Kicked it away, and Shook gets to it on the far wall. Receives a chip pass from Herman. Walks in front, backhand try, save, rebound, and the second one goes. It took. Well, here's Harmon for NC State holding the blue line. They'll glide down into the corner, looking to the middle. They score. Todd puts it home. Right in net. Throws it off the far wall, intended for Frateroli, held in momentarily by McConaughey. But NC State at the red line will bring it back in, and another penalty coming up on the profs. This time it's going to be down low for Holden Kaufman, who brings it back up top. The breezy now to Herman, looking to the middle. Good interception there. Thronson, just over a minute left on the main advantage for NC State. Now it's Herman lurking. Leaves it for Labrizzi. Back to Herman for the one-timer. He scores. It hit a stick on the way through, but Herman will get his second. And NC State leads 4-0. If you're the ice pack, though, I think you got to keep rolling away from the net. That's where they like to do all their traffic and all their goal scoring and a lot of their offense tonight. Get a lot of bodies, get a lot of chaos in front of the net, and Lawrence has just been able to keep the puck in front of him and out of the net. Well, NC State sends it towards the net off the draw. Far circle, wrist shot, glove save made, and Lawrence going to hold on. There's some pushing and shoving afterwards as Lawrence took a little bit of a boys in white. Milliken receives the stretch pass. He's got some speed through the neutral zone. Lost an edge, though, and NC State takes over. Rowan wins the draw. They'll get a chance here. Rudolph, D to D pass. One-timer right into the gut of Addison Lawrence, who holds on for another face-off. And more shoving going on. That'd be a heck of a shot, that would I'll tell be. you that. Not going to happen, though. Tied up off the draw, buzzer goes. Rowan maybe got a shot off. Either way, it isn't near left wing. Labrizzi loses the puck, steps around his defender, gets back to it, banks it back out in front, and a nice save made by Colella on a turnaround shot by Cam Lawrence. He did a great slaps at the length of the ice, and that'll just about do it for the man advantage. Another penalty, though, coming up as Brenner, little overzealous. Settled down by Rudolph at the blue line. He'll look things over. Walking forward, slides it across, gets it right back, skate to stick, takes the shot, pad save made by Lawrence. Oh, and a sprawling save on the far side. What a play by the NC State netminder. State or Rowan, and there's a couple reasons why that is. Here's Spencer Harmon, tangled up for a moment, got loose and wristed one high and wide. Corner, nobody in a white jersey there. NC State reverses the direction of play here. Now Lore, lugging it in, lost an edge on the hashes far wall. There's some good footwork there, too, from Frateroli to make that play on the faceoff and win it. Especially the penalties as well. So going into tomorrow, assuming we're going to see two different goaltenders, but you never know. Well, big hit by Milliken over on the far side to jar the puck. Very good note. Save made through traffic there by Lawrence. Puck loose behind the net. Lawrence swats the rebound away. And into the near corner. 30 kills off all seven power plays for this Rowan team while going one for three on the power play themselves. So NC State picks up the win. They'll look to continue a good start to the 2024 calendar year tomorrow night as they take on Rowan University one more time. You can join us at 7.30 for that one. We'll be back with post game right after this.